What up, guys? Caterpie TCG here today with a uh, post rotation Rayquaza GX deck profile. Um, I don't know how good this deck is. Um, I have done zero post rotation testing. Um, working on world format right now, so I haven't got a chance to. Um, that's probably bad. I probably need to test, but I have not really had the time to. Um, but here's my post rotation Rayquaza deck list. This is just a first draft. This is not a commitment or anything. This is just a first draft. Um, nearly off the top of my head, a little bit more effort was put into it than that. But that's essentially what it is. Just a draft, not an optimal list. Um, I know I've been saying that a lot, but that's because I've been testing. I don't want to share my world's lists because they have text that I want to keep secret. And then... These lists, I just legitimately don't know what I'm doing yet, so I don't know how to build the decks. Um, but here is Rayquaza GX. Um, it has the ability Stormy Wind, which allows you to, when you play it down from your hand on your bench, you discard the top three cards of your deck, and you can attach your basic energy from your discard pile to the Rayquaza that you just played down. Um, its attack is pretty powerful, does 30 damage times the number of uh, grass and electric energy attached to all your Pokemon, which is pretty high. Um, and then Tempest GX does, um, basically you discard your hand and draw 10. Um, I found, at least in Worlds format, if I can Tempest and not discard my hand, I will probably win the game. I don't know if that's the same in post rotation, but that's just a connection I found. If I Tempest away nothing, I usually win the game. Um... One, Lottie's Prism Star. This is probably something that we would play three of, if you could. But it is a Prism Star, unfortunately. But uh, the attack of Dreaming Mist allows you to attach an energy card from your discard pile to your, um, basically to your Equazes. Um, you can either use this to supplement not getting energies early game, or put this up late game and either force a seven prize, either or. For seven prize game and or get energies out, um, so it's a pretty good card. Um, one Aranguru, basically just for the instructability. Um, we don't have Octillery, and I'm not convinced that Octillery would even go in this deck. So Instruct is the second best option, um, or really the best now that it's rotation. Um, two Lele's just for the ability Wonder Tag to get things like Lily and Cynthia and Guzma and Judge. Um, I think I just spoiled the supporters, which you probably don't care. That means I can go over them quickly. Um, is that a word? I don't know. Cynthia, draw support. Guzma is good. Judge, draw support. Lily, draw support, and it's a really good turn one supporter. Um, especially if you can draw five to six cards. Um, four Ultra Ball, just to get out Rayquazas quicker. Um, Nest Ball seems better on paper, um, but... You can't uh, take advantage of Rayquaza's ability. Um, you could also play Mysterious Treasure, which I think um, may be an error of my deck. Um, so I may fix that in the description. Um, I think this should be Treasures, to be honest. I wasn't thinking about Treasure. Um, I, I apologize. Um, four bikes, um, just to sort of attempt to maximize your consistency. Um, as maximized as I can get. Um, fuck. Sorry about that. Um, four energy switch. Um, basically just move energies. Pretty simple effect. Um, but it is used in combination with Super Scoop Up, which is super awesome. Essentially, you can use your Quasar's ability more, and you can energy switch the, um, energy onto something more useful. So if you can hit, basically, energy switch is sort of like a max elixir. Um, in, in a way. Um, it's a worse Max Elixir, considering it's two cards, and you mill, but, but just, just bear with me, okay? Um, I actually think Super Scoop Up sometimes has a higher chance than Max Elixir, um, late game, so, because 50% for Super Scoop Up, and I don't feel like doing the math on Max Elixir, but late game, the odds are really low, because there's going to be, like, 3 and 20 car. I don't know. That's not that bad. Um. I like it. 
with the Laton, um, is a really good tool card in Rayquaza. Not sure if it's the ideal tool card. Rayquaza's knocked out, you can preserve the energy into something else, but it has to be active. Um, in testing, I found that if you can get a Rayquaza with a Baton to like 170, 160, 150 HP, and then Jet Punch it from when it's on the bench, it's so awesome. Um, so just be mindful if you're playing this deck that it has to be the active um, when it's knocked out. To Switch, um, Switch is worse than Floatstone, but it exists in post rotation format, so it's sort of better. Um, to Palpad, because you discard a lot of supporters, so two Palpad is pretty good in my opinion. You may only need one, um, I'm not sure. Uh, two Rescue Stretcher, because you definitely do need to recover your Rayquaza GXs when they get knocked out or when they get milled, so Rescue Stretcher is very important. One Field Blower, I think, is just necessary, um, so it's just there. It doesn't have a super big use, um, just countering stadiums and sometimes the, um, discarding tools. Um, one Escape Rope, um, pretty simple card, basically our third float stone, but I figure including one Escape Rope is probably pretty fine. Um, then we have, if I can do math, oh yeah, seven of each energy, uh, pretty standard count. So this is my pro rotation deck. As I said, the Ultra Balls really probably should be treasure because they can search everything but Aranguru. Um, but yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe to Academy PTCG, and um, I'll keep you updated on post rotation content. Um, I'm putting out a lot right now. Um, this should be, if you see this, like my second one. I want to say maybe first. I'm not sure. But this will be uploaded to YouTube. Um, that's why you're watching it. And there will be more videos like this also uploaded to YouTube. So that you can watch those too. Uh, I'm probably not making much sense anymore. So I'm just going to.